Welcome to a video, uh, a new video this week, uh, oh my god, now I'm burping, boy, this intro is getting like all chopped up and cut up in pieces, which is not going to work, Whew. hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, today we are going to be doing something I've done once or twice on the channel, not much of, but we are going to play with makeup today. Freddy Krueger inspired look, um, kind of Halloween look. I don't want to do like the typical, oh, uh, his burnt skin, molded, moldy skin look that he normally does. I want to be kind of like the a victim of his. And so, yeah, I've got uh, all new uh, products out here with me. I've got a whole thing of makeup brushes now. Uh, since the last video that I did with makeup, and I've got a whole Benai, uh new palette of colors, uh, cream-based makeup. I've got latex. I've got all this stuff all set out here. Um, but first things first, I've got to shave this off. So give me just a hot second, and I'll be back. Well, hello. And now I'm all shaved up, and I'm looking really young and weird. <laughs> It's just strange about seeing my goatee on me. It's just really, it's something, you know. It really is something. So, um, uh, you guys can't see the setup, but it's quite interesting. But we're gonna go with it, go with it, go with it. So, uh, I have foundation and I'm gonna just do my color. Uh, just $50 foundation right now. I'm just going to try to get some redness on my face. Uh, and then I'm going to start mapping out what I'm doing. Um, you know, thumbnail, you guys will see what I'm doing. But right now, I really have... I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but it didn't work. I tried to make my own prosthetics. And it didn't come completely out like I wanted it to. I don't know why I'm using a sponge. I have... All these wonderful new brushes. Okay. So, I mean, it's not going to be like an amazing makeup. I just want to... It's just going to be what it is. I don't, I'm probably going to say that quite a bit. It's going to be what it is. Um, so, I got an eyeliner here. Um, I guess I want to explain to you guys what I'm, what I'm going for. Um, I got a Freddy Krueger claw. I got it off Amazon. I bought a few of them. Um, I already messed up on one because I couldn't get the prosthetic to work right. So what I'm envisioning is the claw coming across my face, like I, were, I have a hat that's going to go on, it's going to come down, and I want it basically to look like his claw has like slashed me and like is retreating back up in his hat, like he attacked me with his claw, and I still want it to be present. Um, so I'm gonna stick the claw up here about where I want it. Um, I know I'm not gonna get to lay flat on my face because I'm not that lucky. I'm going to take an eyebrow pencil and I'm going to trace down where each one is, just put one line. Where the gashes are going to go. Okay. That's where I'm gonna put, that's um, where I want the, like, yeah, this gash is coming back up in his hat, um, going. So, Trying to avoid latex in my eye, so I will be doing a little bit more makeup like here that's like cream base and not running latex because latex in eyes are not a good thing. So, we're going to do the latex and tissue paper. 
toilet paper method. Put some latex in here. I'm not using any kind of fancy latex. It's something that I got from Party City. Yeah. I'm gonna get some tissue open here. I wanna do this first before I start doing this. I'll start one on camera for you so you can see. Um, use my makeup sponge. Dip into some of my latex. And then I'm going to apply right on top of the line I made for the gash. I'll try not to get it in my hair. Let that sit. I'm going to do another coat. Trying to make it look like a fresh wound, not a, a zombie wound, is a lot thicker. I think two layers would work just fine. Um, but the last little bit of tissue paper on. Um, I forgot to show you guys how I'm doing it. Uh, put a layer of latex down, and then a layer of tissue paper on top. Let it sit for a second. So it sticks to it, so when you pull it, it comes apart pretty easily. And then I'm going to take a little bit more latex and blend out the edges of each of my, to kind of blend out to my face. So it kind of looks like it's still a part of my skin. I'm rushing to do this. If I took my time, I could probably do a lot better. But I'm gonna wait for this set. And on to the next part. All right guys, next step is I'm gonna put more foundation down. I'm gonna try to blend the whiteness of this out and then we will begin cutting out the slits. Um, when I get there, I will Check back in. All right guys, so the next step is I'm going to use this little pointer tool. I'm gonna to poke a little hole in to the uh, latex that I've made and then I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and cut a slash into each one of these. Uh, be careful when you do this with scissors or any kind of sharp tool that you don't actually puncture your skin.
Alright, so I'm going to go into my Benign palette and I'm going into this light red here. It is called Dark Crimson. And I'm going to be going into the, uh, it's going inside the, each of the gashes. Okay, so I got the red in the gashes. I'm going to go with a darker red on the outside edges of it to make it look more bruising. Wouldn't you like a creeper or something like that too? Like a pedo or something like that. It wasn't pedophile, it was just a murderer of kids. Yeah. I don't think he actually slept with them. I don't know. People on my YouTube channel, it's the lore of Freddy Krueger. Speaking of Freddy Krueger, we're gonna go into its palette. The Nightmare Four Elm Street palette from Hot Topic, and I'm going to use. Uh, Sweet Screams and Burned Alive to try to blend out a little bit of the waxy look. Honestly, the effect that I'm having going on right now is the latex. I think it's the foundation that I'm using. I don't think it's mixing well with the actual latex, so it's making it white. And I don't think there's anything I have makeup wise that will fix that. I'm a pretty boy. Oops. <laughs> No, the thing I lost. We're having some technical issues. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> technical issues. <laughs> Alright, put the hat on and the hand on, and we'll have my final look. And here's the final look. I really like how it came out. Um, so yeah. If you guys kind of like these videos, uh, leave a comment down below. Give me a big old thumbs up. And if you are not, subscribe down below. Doodles!